Commerce Tools is a modern, composable e-commerce platform. The system is designed with API communication as the primary focus. We'll use Postman to test the system and ensure that our API client is configured correctly. To get started using Commerce Tools, you'll need to configure your API settings in the Administration panel. Go to the Settings area and scroll down until you see the Developer Settings. In the Developer Settings, you can create a new API client. By clicking Create New API Client, the system will display a form that lets you fill out the information that you need for your API. You'll start by giving it a name and then choosing some scopes. The scope selection is the most important part because it will determine the access to data within the platform. Commerce Tools provides some handy templates that you can choose to make the selection easier. Or you can manually select the different scopes by using the checkboxes. You can create multiple API keys, so it's probably best practice to create separate keys with the minimum amount of access needed. This provides an extra layer of security for your API communications. When you've completed configuring your API, click the Create button. This will return the details for the API client. This will include the project key, the client ID, the secret, the scopes, and the URLs needed to authorize and utilize the API. For security purposes, Commerce Tools will only display this information once, so it's important for you to save the details so you can utilize it in your application. The system lets you download the credentials in various formats. We'll choose a Postman environment file. This will allow us to use Postman to test the API connection. We can download and save the file locally so we can import it into our Postman application. And remember, you're only gonna be presented with this information once, so make sure you've saved the details before you close the page. Commerce Tools will prompt you to remind you of this. You will now see the new API client that you just created. So now that we have an API client, we can start testing our communications. We'll use Postman to send API calls to the platform. To get started with Postman, the first thing we'll need to do is import the environment variables that we saved in the previous step. Go to the environment section and choose import. Select the local file that you saved that contains the commerce tools client API information. This will import all of the required environment variables needed to utilize Postman. And this includes the project information like the key, the client IDs, and the authorization URLs. The next thing you need to do is add the Commerce Tools Postman collection. To find it, go to the Commerce Tools documentation site and search for Postman. This site will provide links to download all of the various Postman collections available for Commerce Tools. For this demo, we're gonna choose the Composable Commerce Postman collection. Clicking this link will open the GitHub site. From here, you can choose the collection JSON and download it to your site locally, or use the raw link to import it into Postman. We'll choose View Raw. Clicking this will open up a new tab in our browser that provides a direct link to the collection JSON. Copy this URL so we can use it to import the collection into Postman. So let's go back to Postman and select Collections. We can hit Import. From here, you'll paste the URL and then you'll see that Postman will start importing the data into the collection area. Once this is done, you can open up the collection and see all of the endpoints needed for authorization and the project API. So now in Postman, you should have the environment variables for your project and the Commerce Tools collection. We can now start making calls and test that our communication works. To start making calls to your Commerce Tools project, you'll need to get an authorization token. We can do this by using the access token method in the authorization collection. You'll notice that the collection has spots for variables. These variables need to be provided 
by your environment. If you hover over the variable, Postman lets you select the environment that we imported earlier. Once you select this, you'll notice that the next time you hover over the variable, it will show you the corresponding environment. This will match all the required variables that are needed to utilize the Commerce Tools API key that we created earlier. So now we can go back to the Access Token endpoint and post the variables to our Commerce Tools system. Since this is an OAuth request, we'll see the response with the Access Token, the Scopes, and the Expiration. We'll need this Access Token to make further calls. One great thing about using Postman is that the system will save this access token as a new variable automatically. So now when we make further calls, the access token will be saved as part of the environment. So let's test this by doing a simple query for the products in our system. When we do a GET request, we can see the results for the total products in our system. And since this is a new configuration for our commerce tools, we don't have any products yet. So the API results show zero, and that's expected at this point. Now that we can confirm that our communication is working, the next step is to add information to our Commerce Tools store. So let's go back to Commerce Tools and start adding information. 